Good afternoon. We're coming to you today from sunny Saranda, Albania, where we've been living as expats for the last two months. Today we've got an errand to run. Where are we going? We're going to Posta Shkiptar. Right, we're going to the Albanian post office. So we've read and heard numerous stories about how the postal service here is not very good. If you want something sent to yourself in Albania, it will not be delivered to where you live. It goes to the post office and they then call you to let you know it's there and you go to pick it up. And apparently there can be some crazy charges associated with this. So this will be interesting to see. The item that's coming is what? So I had my mom send me a book from one of those free use boxes. Uh, it costs $16 to send from Canada. To receive mail here, you put the post office number on it, your name, and your phone number. So I received a phone call two days ago. It may have been a wrong number or it may have been the post office. We're going to check it out. That's right, should be an experience. So the post office is just one block up from the promenade turn right at the Vodafone and walk up. So each post office here has a, a sign with the explanation of what it is. This is Zira Postar 9701 Chender Saranda, which means Saranda Center. So we'll go in and see if this parcel's here, I guess. at the end. Mendoy Cam Nyep Paquette for more. Sarah Jones. I don't have a tracking number. Telephone number. Telephone number. Yeah, phone call. I think somebody phoned, but I'm not sure. The number, who called you? I can show you. Yeah, I'm TV. I don't... So it was a phone number that called us, so they're gonna figure out if that's the number for here. Is the number called you? Yes. Yeah. Is that posta or just wrong number? No, no. So I used this office number to mail it? Okay. Yes. Canada. Buy something or my mother sent me something. Yeah. To this nine seven zero one post office. How many days? Probably three weeks. Yeah, so Jones is spelled Jones is spelled like that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's probably that like that big small book. <laughs> well, they're gonna look upstairs. I don't have much faith, do you? My hopes aren't high. No, maybe that phone number that called us was just a crank call. As soon as she answered in English, they hung up. There's no air conditioning in here and it's hot as hell. Shizen. Success! <laughs> Hello. 
Well, would you believe that? A small book in a big building actually arrived. <laughs> now we're going to find out the damage. So that's that. No charge. Okay, here's the parcel. It left Canada on April the 2nd. What day did it arrive here? We received the phone call April 22nd and it is now April 25th. That's right. Canada. So 20 days from Canada to Albania, it arrived and there was no charges for it. Pretty decent. What do you think? That was a lot less uh, painful than I was expecting. Yeah, it didn't seem like they actually had it there to start with, but when she went upstairs, I guess they had it hidden <laughs> somewhere in there. <laughs> they managed to track it down for us. That's so, right. Success. So what do you put on the parcel to send it to yourself here? It's just to your name, post to skip tar. There you go. Perfect. Well, I can't believe that. So the Postal Service isn't crap, it's actually pretty decent. So that's our quick review today of using Postal Skip Tar to have something sent from home. I arrive here, the, uh, the parcel was labeled as a book, it had declared value of $2, the parcel wasn't opened, and uh, they did have to dig around a little bit, but uh, we found it. So uh, overall, I think that's pretty good, eh? Yeah, I would say definitely two thumbs up for Albany Post. That's right. Send it to the post office, put your name and phone number on it so they know how to get a hold of you when it arrives. And then you just come on down and have them dig around and away you go. No fees, no charges. They asked if we'd actually bought something and we just said no. As you saw in the video, it was a something sent from a family member. That was it. So there you go. All the stories about the postal system here sucking and losing stuff, complete nonsense. It works pretty good. Thumbs up? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am? <laughs> yes, ma'am, she says. All right, on that note, we'll close. <clears throat> we hope you've enjoyed this short video. My name's Jay. And I'm Sarah. We're a couple of crazy Canadians mailing books to ourselves in Albania. We left Canada, we quit our jobs, we sold our home, we're traveling the world as full-time nomad expats. If you like our video, we hope you hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. Falamandarit and Mirapafshim. Mirapafshim.